Hey, how you doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another time here. Welcome to another place, another time in the upper room, another place of prayer. And our know, God's word says, uh, Jesus was saying that God was kind of reciting scripture, said that God had said, my house shall be a place of prayer for all nations, right? For all nations, right? It's a place of prayer, right? Bible says that unto him that answereth prayers shall all flesh come, right? So we come to God because he answers prayers, right? So prayer is purposeful. We don't pray for the sake of praying. Prayer is not a noise making. It's not a check the box. We come to a place of prayer because we're coming to one who answers prayers. So when Jesus says, my house shall be a place of prayer, Right, he's saying, my, hand, my house shall be a place of answer. My house shall be a place where people come to receive answer, receive solution, right? It's not religion, right? It will come to receive solution. We come to receive a word. We come to receive food, right? God says that man shall not live by bread alone. It was God who said that, right? That was what he was trying to show for us right to the Israelites, you know, by taking them through the wilderness. And he said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from my mouth. I will receive that word in a place of prayer. So when I come to the place of prayer, it's a place of solution. It's a place of answer. It's a place of, a place of life. It's a place of healing. It's a place of lifting up, right? It's a place of glory, right? So, he says, my house shall be a house of prayer, right? And it's for whole nations, meaning that everyone can come, right? There are no exceptions, right? If you're, if you're a creation, right? You belong to a tribe, you belong to a nation, you belong to a culture, and you can come. The word is whole nations, not some, but all nations. And we all can come into the presence of the Father. We, can, we all can come into the holiest of all that has been opened for us by reason of the shed blood of Christ. We can come, we can come, we can come boldly to receive grace, to receive mercy, to receive help, to receive strength, to receive uh, answer, to receive light. It, it, we all can come, and that's what we call the place of prayer, the upper room, right? The place where we we'll come to pray, right? And we'll come into the place of prayer, the real place that God answers is the throne room. So as it were, the, 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 the upper room is a door, an entrance into the courtyard of heaven, right? As we've done in this series, talking about uh, studying through the book of Daniel, it's the courtyard of heaven. Right, everything, all the answers, everything that is that's a control room, right? That's a control room, that's a central processing unit, right? For the whole of the universe, the courtyard of heaven, the throne room. We're going to give an access place to the to the courtyard of heaven, right? You know, that's where all the prayers go as an incense, right? And God answers our prayer in the courtyard of heaven. Right, that's what we do when we come here to pray. Right, it's just getting that access into the courtyard of heaven. Right, to 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 get the answer, to get the strength that we need. Jesus Christ tells us that uh, we can do nothing of our own strength. Right, we need Him. We can do nothing of our own strength. So we come to receive what we need to do something, so that we can be productive. We don't just want to leave this life. We want to bear fruits. To bear fruit, we need Jesus. We need to abide. We need to be connected. We need to fellowship. We need to receive of him. He is the vine. We are the branches. We don't have access to the root, right? So we come to him who is the vine so that we can get the nutrient that we need, that we can stay alive. We can bear fruit. That's why we pray. That's why we do this, right? Even though we target believers' prayer meeting, right? It's a place where you don't, don't get limited. You can come, you know, you can come. If you need to pray, just come and pray. You don't have to pray the way I pray, right? Uh, I pray in the Holy Ghost because that is just uh, what's in my heart in starting this is just to create an atmosphere for prayer, right? But don't feel left out. Come in, pray. 
Pray the way you can pray. Pray the way you want to pray. Right? All we do here is create an atmosphere for prayer. So let's pray. Pray. <laughs> you know, just sure in the morning, just talking about the reason why we, we gather, you know, talking about the place of prayer, talking about the, the upper room, talking about the courtyard of heaven, talking about Jesus, talking about the temple, saying that, it is uh, going to be a house of prayer, a house of prayer. And we know that the Bible also tells us that, um, that let us, uh, is it, <laughs> that coming to me? Yeah, it says, uh, uh, let's draw to, to, uh, to, to God that answers prayer, right? We'll come to God because it's a God that answers prayer. You know, I was just emphasizing the fact that we don't just come to him for the sake of coming to him. We come to him. The Bible says that that we come to him, to come to the God that answers prayers, right? So when we come here, it's not to check the box. It's not to say we're prayed, you know. And I'm a very much goal oriented person, target oriented person. So I'm asking myself continually, what am I gaining by doing this? What is it adding to me, you know? I'm very focused on that all my life. I don't do things for the sake of doing it. I'm a very unreligious person. You know, I'm, religion is like my enemy. You know, I fight against religion. I don't do things for doing it. I do it for purpose. I do it for intent. If I can't find the purpose, if I can't find the intent, I would not have energy to do it. You know, so even as we gather here, I ask myself continually, you know, what's it doing for me? You know, for one, it gives me energy. You know, somehow it gives me that, fortification on the inside of me that my bases are covered spiritually. I don't have any spiritual fear just because we do this on a continual basis. It, it gives me that strength, that that boldness in the spirit world, right? And it translates to the physical also. I'm able to stand uh, against my foes at the gate, right? I don't, I don't shake my leg, you know, Last year, actually, someone offended me last year, and it was someone that offended me before. So I went and told his boss, and, and I said, hey, man, this guy has no clue what is coming his way, right? I'm going to fight him with everything that I have, right? Everything that I have is prayers. I don't have any other thing. I'm, I don't have any idol. I don't have any obuni or anything. If I say I have all, I have, if I'm fighting anybody with all that I have, all that I have is God and is enough, right? And the end of the story is that that person, <laughs> that person re probably re regrets ever, ever starting that, you know, you know, as much as I didn't know what I was saying when I said it, but my confidence was in God. And I said, I'm going to fight this person with everything that I have. Everything that I have is God. Right, but the every but the God is the is the one is the power of my words is the only one that does not make my words to fall to the ground. When I boast about a thing, it's not because I have any power in myself. It's because I trust in the God who is the power of my words, and it came true for me in that instance. Right, it came true for me in that instance. Right, what I said, he backed it up with his power, and he made it to happen. That is one of the confidence I, I get by doing this, by coming to the place of prayer, right? And I could say a whole lot more, you know, but, but that's that's just it. Unto him that answers prayers do we come, you know? And that scripture goes on, Jesus Christ says, it's, it's a place of prayer for all nations. It didn't say for some nations. It didn't say for the Jews only. It says for all nations, right? All tribes. So everyone is free to come. Everyone is free to come. Everyone is free to come. The prostitute is free to come. The sinner is free to come. Because come just as you are and it will change you. God doesn't want us to go walk on ourselves. They will not come. Oh God, this is the sacrifice. This is the person that has walked on. He wants to make us, right? He wants to make us. He wants us to come the way that we are. And we cannot remain the same in his presence. We cannot remain the same after spending time with him. He wants to change us. He wants to make us. He wants to perfect us. He wants to strengthen us. He wants to elevate us. He wants to enrich us. He wants to make our joyful, 
That's what Jesus Christ was telling the disciples. He said, you have asked nothing from the Father, but ask that your joy might be full. That is why we pray. May God help us. Help us. Lay claim to all that is there. Place a prayer. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead, Ma. Yeah, you know, the Bible says that building up yourself in your most holy faith, praying in the spirit, you know? So it's like a man that is carrying uh, weight, carrying weight, uh, lifting weight and building up his muscles. So it's, it may not appear immediately, but after some years and months, you begin to see the muscles well tuned and developed. So actually, uh, a, a preacher once said that a praying man is a Christian man. So he that is not a Christian man is not a praying man. So what makes us and qualifies us as Christians is the fact that we are we 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 are praying, we are we depend on it as a source of our strength. We are drawing from it and we are being built up by it. So it's not a matter of just making requests, but it is like our breath. Christian's breath it says prayer is the Christian's breath. So if you can do without breathing, then you know. <laughs> so we cannot do without it. Even by your silence, being in his presence, just keeping silent is a form of prayer. So we have to yeah. remind ourselves that this is my essence. I recently, uh, you know. Uh, for a long time, you know, I, I'm into music. I, I was in the mm -hmm. choir and was doing that a long, long time and seen it as my ministry and all that. But later on, uh, as I went on in, in the journey, I, I were praying one day and when we were praying, I fell under the anointing and the, the man of God, was prophesying over me that God was calling me into intercessory ministry. So, and from that day, that grace to pray, you know, pray more, not as a duty, pray not as a, as a religious duty, you know, came mm -hmm. on me that I can stay the whole day and just be praying, you know, that strength is there. So it is, it is what God needs at this time. He wants people to stay with him in that secret place. He's looking for people that just want to gist with He just wants to gist with them. <laughs> so, that, so I enjoy this new calling, you know. I enjoy it. In fact, if I'm not praying, you know, every other thing is boring to me. So... I really appreciate what you are talking about. Man, man. Thanks. Thanks. I love that. I love it. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. Um, oh, he's, our, he's our rest. He's, he's our everything. The Bible says in him we'll live, we'll move, and we have our being. You know, so it's that place of finding our oneness in him. And may we never lose the joy of his presence. Yeah. His presence always be that which makes us think, that which makes us to, to be alive, that which makes our, our mortals, our motto to run. May we never be comforted outside of his presence. You know? Jesus says we can do nothing outside of him. <laughs> and I, I I want to believe him. I believe him. I've tried I've tried doing things without him and I failed. You know, so I'm tired. I'm I'm done. I'm done trying. I, I just want to believe him, you know, and stay with him. You know, and may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen.
Bless your heart. Let me let you go. I'll talk with you later. Thank you. All right. Have a great Thank afternoon. Tomorrow. All right. Yeah.